All right, everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. So, don't know where this is going to end up in editing, but this is, I'm going to say, a good a good kind of point to, to bring up some things. So, I added some more mods to the, uh, to the game. I don't know all of them off the top of my head, but they're going to be in the mod list down below. Or if you're watching this live on... These are some very spitty villagers. Hot dang. Anyway, uh, if you're if you're on YouTube, just check the description below for the mod list. And if you're watching on Twitch, it's exclamation mark W3 mod list. Uh, let's see. Don't forget to mod Quent. I modded some amount of Quent. Not too much. Hello. What's up, drowners? So... Probably have the uh, the water going. Yep. Okay. By the way, does somebody who knows this game want to tell me if this is working as intended? Because I honestly have no idea. Am I supposed to be healing this much as a result of this perk? Come on. Oh, I cut him in half. All right. Because, yeah, that's a lot of healing. And that's what I'm really confused about. Because I have, uh, let's see. I have this perk. Gourmet. Eating food regenerates vitality for 20 minutes. Like, how's this perk supposed to work? Because that's that's the sort of the source of all this healing. Okay, Gourmet is broken. What is that what it's supposed to do? Or... Is that just... Yeah, the food item specifically can affect the regen rate. I know that, but like... Is that perk working as intended? It heals the same amount, but the food would heal... But just for 20... Wait. So you can ignore the time on food, but heals the same amount per second. Okay, it just looks like a lot because you have low HP. Okay, so the, it's not actually that I, I busted the game. This is is working intended. It's just busted because I'm weak right now. And when I get stronger, it won't be so bad. Okay. Yeah, so you can end up with food that heals like 50 per second for 20 minutes. But normally for 5. Okay. Yeah, I was just really curious about that because I wasn't sure if this is a mod that did this. Or if it's just because Gourmet is stupid busted. So the answer is Gourmet is stupid busted, so I'm going to keep using it. I just... I was feeling really weird because it's like, did, did I do this? Did I find a mod that makes me stupid broken? Because I actually have a mod uh, that specifically makes it so uh, potions last longer. Because um, I figured that that's probably fine. All right, I should probably turn something on just to show you guys uh, what's going on in the background here. Let's see, auto loot. Let's turn on notifications for a bit. We'll leave that on for a minute or two so you can see what's going on. Um, anyway. So in the bottom left corner, I'm just receiving stuff. I might want to turn this down, but I don't think I'm going to because this is really amusing. But effectively, instead of looting anything ever, I am now capable... Oh, shoot. I very much landed on the wrong side. Uh, how do I get back? That's, I hope there's a bridge over here or something. Or maybe I can just cut underneath one of these. Anyway, uh, so instead of looting stuff, I actually just absorb items in my general vicinity. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite mods in 
Uh, what is it? Oh, come on. Climb it. Climb it, you witchy bastard. Climb! Climb! No, he ain't gonna climb. Alright, let's hope we get a beach. Uh, but yeah, so... I effectively just loot everything in a, in a large radius around me. Being dead enemies, containers, all sorts of things. How big of a radius can you make it? Uh, we can double check. I can make it as big or as, as small as I want within a certain radius. So let's take a look. True auto loot mode. Distance is 30. I'm assuming that's 30 meters. And maximum containers to loot at once. So I can loot 100 barrels in a room uh, per second. As long as the room is... Uh, I'm assuming the maximum range is the minimap. So you will no longer see plants on the map or anything like that. I'm just going to be uh, sucking it all up into my inventory as we go along the way here. Uh, that one I'm probably not going to turn off because it's going to save me some time. I don't know why these aren't considered... Oh, these aren't considered because they are... Uh, these are like kind of secrety items, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, so I got the vacuum of holding. Uh, I think I might have to reflect this in the Witcher thumbnail, which is just Geralt walking along and just items flying into him at mass, mass speed. Because that, that is going to be what this game is. I'll probably turn those notifications off after a certain point because it's going to get a little bit much. But uh, <laughs> I really, really like this mod. Because it means I don't have to wander around waving my hand at plants anymore. Ooh, what have we got in here? Deserters. One. I like dessert. Bring some water. Now, does this mean water lasts for that long, too? Okay. I mean, it's parry time. Actually, it ain't parry time. This guy hits too hard. Oh, that's okay. Anyway. I don't know why that man was carrying a rope ladder with him. On him. Huh. So it does look like some of these are not lootable. So I'll have to be a little careful. But, uh... Certainly is going to save me some time along the way. Let's see. Will the auto loot steal? No? Well, yes and no. I have it set so it will not steal. Because I'm a good, I am a good, good little loot vacuum. I could be a bad loot vacuum. Not good. Okay, there goes one of them. There goes all of them. And look at all that stuff. I like the receive during combat pop-ups. It's just kind of the, the regular wandering around that I don't need the flowers for. I could turn some filters on. Because there are, there are straight-up filters that you can enable. Uh, so you only loot certain things. But considering my inventory is nine that like caps out at 9,000, I'm just going to go bananas. And yes, if I really wanted to, I could turn it so that it, it would just steal everything around me. But I feel like that would get really boring. Oh. Maybe I didn't actually get the guarded treasure while we were there. Uh, we'll go back in a second. Probably save. But yeah, my logic in general with a lot of this stuff is just like, anything I can do to make this experience faster uh, it helps. Even if it does ultimately unbalance the game, it's kind of a lot of stuff that I would have ended up doing anyway. Plus, it is really fun to just be the living loot vacuum. Oh, is this how I get up here? I was wondering about that earlier when I fell to my death. Speaking of falling to my, my death... Let's wait, dance. hold up. Oh, come on! Oh, 
I was really hoping I could fling him off the side. How rad would that have been? Sup, deserter leader? How do you like the fire? Oop. Shit indeed. Oh, there goes some legs. So I think I'm still going to have to be kind of careful to make sure everything did get looted. Because it looks like certain things don't. Like this chest. Interrogation report. And let's read that. Some of these seem kind of important, but we'll deal with them later. So, interrogation report. Amavet Fortress. Persons taking part. Sir Ignatius of Vieres. Bart the Bailiff Andreas. Bloom. Blah, 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 blah. Suspect. Colgrim, Witcher of the Viper School. The Witcher Colgrim stands accused of kidnapping Vidi, son of Paul, Paul, a beekeeper residing in White Orchard. Suspect was detained pending trial. Upon detention, he was searched, and a diagram for the forging of a steel sword was found on his person. It's suspected this sword was used to intimidate or possibly kill the kidnapped child. It is like likewise suspected that the accused possesses other such diagrams for the forging of death-dealing implements, though none have been found to date. Sir Ignatius has requested the Witcher undergo preliminary interrogation with the application of torture. This will take place once a torture with the proper qualifications has been found. Addendum. It was later discovered drowners were responsible for the boy's disappearance. Unfortunately, Colgrim died before this information reached the investigator investigators. But rather than face the baronet's ju judgment, he chose trial by ordeal. Sir Ignatius agreed in order to cleanse the various family crypt of specters. Colgrim never emerged from said crypt. It's highly likely the motley race, specters, and evil powers residing therein prove too much for him. And I apparently got the guide to Gwent. Neat. I don't think I have anything else for me to loop around, loot around here. But Viper School gear. I might have to go pay that a visit. Okay. But first, I'm going to save, and we're going to see how fallproof I am. Swan dive! Perfect. I don't take falling damage anymore. That is probably the most broken mod that I've got on the list, but do you know what? I don't care that much. Because that's going to save me a lot of grief. Anyway, hello? Doggo? No doggo. There we go. Wow. I looted some stuff off that wolf. Aha! Let's see. Is it no falling damage at all or up to a certain height? No falling damage at all. Hello, good sir. A fine evening we have here. I believe I can just block arrows, yeah? Oh, that's lovely. How do you feel about being menaced, good sir? Desert this! Flambe! I am feeling weird today, but that's good. Weird is good. So what else we got here? Uh, b -b 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 -b. So if you're wondering why I'm kind of... Well, I mean, it should be pretty obvious why I'm doing this. Oh, right. Uh, you know, we're pretty close to the cross, but crossroads, so let's go back to Wosong Bridge for a second. I'm going to run down and double check that cache. Because I'm pretty sure I actually didn't get the loot off of it. It's still not marked on the map. So blocking does bad things to weapon durability. I'm 90% certain all of my weapons are ind indestructible. Minor quality of life stuff amounts to a lot of convenience on my part. Okay. Yep. Definitely missed a couple of these. Namely this one. Velen Longsword, Dark Iron Ore, Oil, Hunter's Gauntlets, and Katakin Decoration. Also fire! Shit, run. Run. Eh, worked out. Cool guys run very slowly from explosions. 
All right. Now that we've got that, and that's properly grayed out. Anything else? These are good. There's a couple of question marks. There's a lot of question marks left, honestly. Uh, let's go back to the crossroads and then meditate. I don't actually know if I have any hard alcohol. I'm assuming I can. Okay. So if I do meditation for... Uh, I meditate until that time. Strong alcohol was used to replenish alchemy items. Good. Because I needed some more bombs. Is he starting from the beginning or partway through? Beginning. You've technically missed the intro couple hours from yesterday, but yes, this is the very beginning. Nothing important has happened apart from the fact that we've started, I guess. Oh, we're here in the battlefield. Oh, man. Remember that battlefield that I, like, painstakingly was picking through for all those goodies? Yeah, now I can just kind of... Ooh, Dead Soldier's letter. Gustav, I got something to ask you. I've come into the possession of quite the stash of valuables. Don't ask how. Modesty prevents me from trumpeting the heroic deeds I performed in the fight for a beloved fatherland. At any rate, there's so, much, so damned much that there's no way in any hell I'll carry it back on my own. So I've put everything in a chest and buried it on the beach. At the base of the cliff, with the two burned-out huts on it. You know, we go crayf crayfish hunting there, remember? So here's what you've got to do. Grab a wheelbarrow, throw a shovel in it, take it to the beach. But make sure no one sees you. We'll load the treasure and sell it all in Vizima. Split the earnings 50-50 like a family should. See you later and remember, not a word to anyone. Johan. Would be better with the Henry face mod, though. I'm going to be honest, I actually really really like both iterations of the Witcher, and so I'm not I'm not going to mod uh, this variant of Geralt. Man, I'm just vacuuming up all that horse meat. Mm. I sell it to a dwarf, and he's gonna pay me pennies on the dollar. Mainly just pennies, unfortunately, but still. But yeah, I actually really like this face. I think my thing is... I have seen enough stuff with Hen uh, Henry Cavill in it that, like, I can't separate him out from, like, really... I'm a big fan of the man uh, the man from UNCLE, and, uh, I, like, I really, really liked that movie. Just destroy it. And so, every time I see Henry Cavill's face, it makes me sad that we're not going to get another one. Chicken sandwich. Yeah. What? Where are you coming from? I just blasted your nest. You butt. Die. Decease and go away, please. Thank you. I guess. I guess there's actually just like a small dozen of these things hanging out. What are these? Actually, these are wild dogs. How do you like that silver? I wish the fire would actually leave, like, ground damage. Man, with this food buff, I am now untouchable. It is glorious. Hello, wild dogs. Why are there so many wild dogs out here? Okay, what is my achievement? Kill at least five opponents in under 10 seconds. Really? I guess so. Sure. Skellige's gone to the dogs and I'm taking it back. I don't necessarily have reason for that. Okay. Well, wild dogs? flamethrower at your service okay so what what am i doing where am i going so just aimlessly wandering i should always have an objective marked otherwise yes i will continuously aimlessly wander forever and that's 
It's my job. It's my calling, but I should at least aimfully wander always. I guess I can climb these. The question is, can I Skyrim horse? Humming. Nope. Place of power. It's gotta be. Got it. Okay. You cannot Skyrim horse in this game, but you can kind of approximately Skyrim horse. Mm. Whee! This would kill a lecher, lesser witcher, but not Mod Geralt. Mod Geralt cares not for slopes. Or hills are falling. Those, <laughs> those are problems for other men. Hello. Who's living in here? I did somebody wealthy lived in here. Poor son! Poor son? Not good. Excuse me. I'll have you know. Geralt's mother was a somewhat lovely lady. Though she just randomly abandoned him for some reason. Not really clear on why. I think... Oh, you witch fucker! Wow. Is he just... Don't let him catch his breath! I'm trying Fucking to beat bastard. his shield off. Curses. Okay, well, he got tired. I was assuming I'd be able to... Wow, everything exploded into loot. I'm not even sure what I received there, but the answer is a lot of things. Hunting trousers. File in the silver teapot. Yeah. Oh, one more chest. I guess these chests are not... Ooh. That looks like a cool sword that I should probably equip sooner than later. <laughs> That's a lot of equipment. Maribor sword. Uh, uh, does give extra gain, but that's steel weapon. I guess both are kind of magic. All right. <laughs> Geralt's mother was a lovely lady, but his father was a horse. I don't know enough about the canon to agree or disagree with that so we'll go with that okay uh bu -bu 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 -bu. hi i had to bring chat closer because it's hard to read his father was roach but roach is a lady my horse is a lovely lady how dare you impugn her honor what's up dude man that guy's got some tats anything else up here nope but there's a man hello man i killed all your friends how do you feel about this can i talk can we talk ah! nope it said talk deserter. It's not. I think I also pissed off the bees by existing. Suck it, bees. Yeah, because of the loot vacuum and honey and whatnot. Honey is the one thing that I will just truly steal because it's not considered thievery except for the bees. The bees get really pissed off. So bees hate the shit out of Geralt. Always. Roach is male. What? The Roach is female. Cursory checks made it look like Roach is very much female. But I also don't know enough about this one way or another either. Spies notes. I guess I'll read that too. Roach is male. Huh. Everybody so confidently said Roach was female yesterday, so I'm confused. Anyway, fifth... 15th day of observation, 23rd of Burke. Back in camp, brought heaps of plunder, mostly armor and weapons, but this time a sealed chest too. Toward, towards dusk, a man delivered rations of food and drink. 16th day of observation, 24th of Burke. Messenger arrived at, in the camp before dawn. I was quite a stir. They immediately organized a group to transport the chest. After dusk, I'll try to track, track down where they carried it to. 17th day. Didn't move the case far away, just to the abandoned hut near the old mill. Set up watch, so I wasn't able to get closer. Eighteenth day. Every man in the camp has been drinking since yesterday afternoon. If we attack now, we'd obliterate them. Too bad the commander only sent one man, me, to this outpost. I'll try to sneak in tonight. Fortune smiles on me. Perhaps one man will be enough. So we picked up some neat side quests here that 
we'll have to do, but I kind of want to do these with Shell. None but devils play past here. Turn back. I mean, that was kind of the plan. What's this one? Deserter gold. Kind of want to stay away from a lot of these side quests if I can. So I'll just keep going for the question marks that are nowhere near, near side quests. Shell says Roach is definitely a lady. But he names all of his ho horses Roach. Well, Shell, you want to get comfy? Because we're starting to get to the point where we're do we'd be doing things that you'd be interested in. Not bad. I, I should probably reiterate for everybody, uh, this is technically a, a, uh, co-commentary series. It's just, I'm going to do all of the boring, uninteresting stuff that Shell does not care for. Like, wander around looting and, and looting. And fighting wolves. This freaking gourmet perk is obscene. It's just like, who cares if I get bit by wolves? I am amazing. Okay, so what do we got around here? Uh, scrawled notes. And some other stuff. Scrawled notes. Things are going to be better and better for us. We've pitched camp in the heart of the forest near the old mill. And have already done quite nice for ourselves. Folk are poor, so they say. But squeeze them and something always pops out. A sack of grain here, a few crowns there. Not bad for easy work. Certainly better than the army. At least we got something to fill our bellies. And the risk that we pay for... The risk that we'll pay for all this with our lives. Well, still less than when we were charging the Nilfs at Natalis's orders. Oh. Apparently, Dirty Orders was a side quest. Well, oh well. A lot of these side quests seem kind of random. I Hi. Chivo. Learn 12 potion formulae. I turn off the achievement noise whenever I play good old games, but I actually really like the achievement noise. It's very classic. And it generally doesn't come by too often, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so, sh so Shell specifically will be marked on all episodes on YouTube. Uh, like, I'm probably... Uh, I'm going to spend the next couple of days working on a lot of art stuff if I can. I really want to get a new thumbnail set up so that, like, when Shell and I are in the same... Uh, same video. There's like cool art as opposed to like, yeah, good art. And that way I can kind of just flip it on and off for this series specifically. Let's see. Who's excited for Cyberpunk? I freaking am. I can't wait to play Wait to play that. That'll definitely be a series that I play probably without Shell. The only reason why she's really joining me on this one is because the Witcher Netflix show is awesome. Wow. This mill was apparently loaded with cool items. Aha! The vacuum man strikes again. Alright, I guess we should probably go up. Actually, let's grab Roach. I've been running around on foot for a while. And there's no real reason for me to do so right now. Oh yeah, another mod that I, I can remember off the top of my head. Infinite horse stamina. Not that it's going to help me too much here. I should probably just stick to the main roads. Uh, I'm 90% certain we've got a side quest. Yeah. Viper school gear. Yeah, so we don't, we don't want to do that. Oh, the crypt is inside there. Oh. Whoops. Slower. What are these? More ghouls? More ghouls! Hello! Hello, ghoul? Oh, you know what? I should level up so we get more, uh, we get more firepower.
Okay, let's let's actually level up over here. Uh, let's see, because I can I can rank some of these up, specifically this one. Effect scales with sign intensity up to a maximum of thirty percent. Mainly, I want to grab this for the extra. Whoops. Oh. Mainly, I just want to level this up for this stamina regen. So, press X to upgrade. I can upgrade quite a lot, actually. Cool. Okay, place of power place and the monster power. nest. Should draw from it. Okay. Ghoul then. nest. Ought to just destroy it. Boom. Oh, guys, watch explosions. <laughs> I am bad. All right, how many more? Okay, I have one more ability point. I'm just going to keep putting all of those points into burning. I realize maybe better builds, but, like, we'll get enough ability points just by exploring everything. Alright, so what else we got? Not much left, actually. This this map is nearly complete. I guess let's go grab these. I kind of wanted to stay away from the Nilfgaardian uh, encampment, if I could avoid it. Do we just go into the crypt? I could. Suggested level 6. Hmm. Alright, well... Oh. I hear a ghoul! Freaking... Late Ghoul gets the sword too. It is an undiscriminating sword. What level am I? Am I still level two or am I level three now? I'm still level two. Dang. Hey, thank you, Altorial, for the 12 month reset. That's one year of watching my stupid videos. Actually, no, I shouldn't be hard on myself. Let's I hope go. it has been fun. But you, re Every time you re resub, you remind me I should probably play more. Hi! Whoever was in this camp had some stuff. Oh, it's Nilf Guardians. I feel no guilt for de facto robbing them. Yeah, every time you resub, you remind me I should probably play more Warframe. Come on. Is it a cliff? Yeah, it's like a minor cliff. Whoa, okay, there, so Roach. Roach will not. Uh, I was kind of hoping that would be more of a face plant. I really want to see what kind of goofy falls I can have. Oh, it's up. It's up here. All right, whatever. I'll go on foot. Oh, gee, that's that what I'm known for. Not sure how, how to feel about that. I like a lot of Warframe with me. There's there's that in Ashen. Yeah. Just like how... Gunter has his, his uh, wander friend in Dark Souls. Some of you guys just get, like, mild reputations. That's my stamina recovery. It's good. Could be better. Show me what Oh, I don't got. have my food buff going. That's why I'm not invincible anymore. Must eat food. Okay, so what do we got here? Now, can I dive? Oh. I can't imagine swimming around here is actually particularly productive. Uh, huh. It is a plant. A plant that escaped my notice. How is this possible? Actually, is it? Yeah, it is. There we go. Nope, that's an enhanced saddle. Okay. Buckthorn. I didn't realize there were underwater plants, but I guess there are. And frustratingly enough, super loot vacuum does not pick them up. 
I wouldn't have expected Buckthorn to be an underwater thing. It might not be, actually. Also, thank you, Unicorn Power, for the 10 month resub. Love the content. Glad you went back to The Witcher. It's one of my favorite games. I. It's one of those where it's like. I missed the bus. I, I played it on launch, and people didn't want to watch it because uh, everybody wanted to avoid spoilers. And I always was kind of beating myself up about it because it is such a good game. And I just, like, never really had a good justification to go back, considering how long these games are. Swamp farts! Which I will then explode. Ooh, hey. Hey, wolves. Damn, hey, you're wolves. ugly. I was really hoping I could... Uh, I was really hoping I could lock onto the, uh, or get the wolves to, like, come at me and explode the barrel in all of our faces. Didn't work out that way, sadly. Eh, let's just grab a lot of them. Yeah, so it looks like chests are the only things that don't get hit by the loot filter. Anyway. Swamp thoughts. But yeah, so with the uh, the Netflix series being uh, put out recently, it's like it's the perfect perfect uh, excuse for me to go back and play this game to completion. <laughs> I'm not really convinced. I'm not really sure if I'd want to play through the previous like one and two, but I figure uh, Witcher Three is a great kind of standalone. All right there, there's Roach. Come on. Oh, Buckthorn's a plot item. That's why. Oh, good to know. Well, I guess we got a couple. Oh, we want to be out here. Assuming Roach can get to it. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Come on. So what, is, what is this thing? Oh, it's a drowner. Hello. We have a lot of diagrams. I'm going to be able to make some stuff. Oh, How that tea smells good. How have your been? Hi. Oh, yeah. It is the pomegranate acai green tea. That was which good. Which I love. Where is this? Oh, it's this dead guy right here. To marry him, Lily Key. I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, there it is. Blood-soaked military orders and some other things. Let's surface before I try reading it. Okay, there we go. You want to get this one, Shell? It says Randall Vittenberg. Oh, fine. To make me concerned, by order of the Legion Commander, the men bearing this missive are to be escorted north to the border post near Oxenfurt, where they will find a Rendanian division waiting for them. As noble-born Tomerians, they are under a special protection, and not a hair on their heads is to be harmed. Everything they carry is their own private property and is to remain in their possession. Any failure to heed this order will be punished in an accelerated military tribunal. Randall Wittenberg. Uh, 